what is up what's up what's up my ladies it is scorpion Red tarot i am back at it again yes indeed to let you know what is going on with my fine and my divine ass feminine for tomorrow april the 11th and friday the 12th yes indeed yes indeed did you miss me because i sure missed you i just had to let everybody marinate with the little messages and stuff so i know i didn't give y'all a full week of daily bread information but you guys will have the rest of the week and some information to lead you on into the weekend. Um, I'm hoping because I do have to get the mid months out. So as soon as <laughs> it's enough, listen, listen, sis to be working. OK, so I'll be trying to keep up. Forgive me if I don't, you know, if I get behind a little bit. Give me if I get behind a little bit. But listen, ladies, ladies, what's going on, ladies in the Mercedes? What is going on, ladies in the Mercedes? Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you guys for all of the love and support. And guess what, ladies? I got some new... Ain't it every time I call y'all... Oh, I say every time I call y'all. Am I calling y'all? Bring, hello, how you doing? Bring, hello, bitch. Answer the phone. Bring. Okay, listen. Every time I talk to y'all, it's like I'm like, I'm buying new decks, I'm buying new decks. Bitch, I just bought three new decks because you know I got to support my baby, Mystic Moon Tarot. If y'all don't follow her on YouTube, follow her, Mystic Moon. She is the young lady that makes these decks right here. Yes, indeed, the Twin Flame deck. So, <clears throat> I just ordered her three new decks. So, y'all better look out for that, ladies, because y'all know. <laughs> y'all done heard it first. My my fine, my divine-ass feminines heard it first okay so y'all look out y'all look out for that if anyone wants to book a personal private reading you can do so my booking is in the about tab uh you will see a hyperlink that says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me again scorpion reds tarot at simply book me for a personal private reading if this video gives you some insight and you want to you know leave a love donation you can do so my paypal information is in the description box because that makes it possible for me to continue to purchase more decks and 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 be able to put more flavor out here so i thank you guys for all of the love and support that you guys have been given because it's made it possible for my page and just everything to just grow to abundance so i really appreciate you guys so let's get into the prayer father god thank you so much for bringing us here thank you so much for um the divine feminine listening to me running my mouth and ain't clicked off this video yet <laughs> y'all know i love y'all girl okay anyway Thank you so much for bringing us all here today, um, Father God. Um, please, please continue to elevate us. Please continue to keep us along our path. Please give us daily nourishment, daily our daily vitamins, um, our daily bread for tomorrow the 11th and Friday the 12th. I thank you so, so much for all the blessings and abundance that you have done for all of us, for my soul tribe here, my divine feminine tribe, because you know we are your warriors, Father God. We have been collecting lost people. We've been bringing them on this journey, Father God. I hope you can see our work. Um, please keep us uplifted. I know it's not easy. It's not easy going through this journey. You never said it would be easy, but you always said you would be there. So, Father God, please lift Lift our chin up whenever we starting to put our head down and be down on ourselves, Father God. Because guess what? Where we're going is way more better than where we came from. We just don't see it, but we believe it. And sometimes it's hard to continue to move and you don't see where you're going. But Father God, please allow our feet to continue to move with our head held high. Father God, and in faith and in glory, restore us, Father God. Restore us, Father God. You know? Thank you. Real post up just everything. Make us brand new. Make us brand new, Father God. Please continue to move through us. Please continue to bless us throughout this week. Please give us guidance. Father God, thank you again for all the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give the divine feminine guidance for tomorrow, the 11th of April and Friday the 12th. Thank you again, Father God. All right. So I hope y'all were in that prayer with me because, honey, I sure was in it with you, honey. Because let me tell you, he ain't never said it would be easy, believe me. But, honey, whew, I can't, you know what, I feel like, <laughs> I don't know why I'm picturing in my head, you know, um, Winnie the Pooh. You know how Winnie the Pooh, when he be getting them jars of honey, it's something about Winnie the Pooh when I used to watch that show, that cartoon, 
he just made me want to go get some honey and just eat out of a whole jar of honey so bad. He made that shit look so good. Like, honey, when we get to our pot of honey that the Lord got in store for us, baby, we going to tear that shit up. <laughs> we going to tear that shit up. We going to tear it up, honey. And we going to look just like Winnie the Pooh out there, like Pooh Bear, okay? We gonna look just like a little honey bear, like a fat little honey bear, full off of sugar. <laughs> sugar, spice, and everything nice. God got all of that in store for us. So, honey, ready to get your belly full like Pooh Bear. Like Pooh Bear, okay? You gotta be slicker than the average bear. Okay, Yogi? Okay, Yogi? Slicker than the average bear, bitch. Okay, hold on. Listen. <laughs> Okay. Okay, the Princess of Wands and then the Princess of Swords. Okay, challenges and then trust. And then the Princess of Wands and the Princess of Swords. So this is somebody is going through some challenges right now tomorrow. And they could possibly be in this energy today as well leading into tomorrow. And these challenges are putting them in a position where they're not recognizing their power. And they're not recognizing... They're strong because you know what I feel like at that princess stage, you're having to start all over. Learn all over. Like learning how to walk all over. Like truly. <laughs> you know, and you just like it's challenging. Because you're having to learn this new body. Investigate. You need to add, you know, if it's something that you don't understand, baby, investigate, ask questions. Don't feel weak. Don't feel like you don't have the power to harness all of this in uncertainty. Investigate in uncertainty. Trust. Princess of Wands. So you looking for truth, clarity, wisdom, insight, knowledge. And it's like you're not playing about it. <laughs> you're not playing. <laughs> we got that sword out. You're not playing. You ready to cut to the meat and the potatoes. Because you want to be more trusting. You know? Right now you're at a stage where you're trying to choose who you are going to become in this new life of yours with this uncertainty card. It says choose who you're going to become. And look, y'all. Some of y'all bitches been smoking hella weed. Look <laughs> Look at the motherfucking caterpillar on the side with the gas bags. Y'all bitches been smoking, bitch. Fire past the J. Past the Dutchie to the left hand side. Hey, past the Dutchie to... Okay, I'm sorry. Past the Dutchie. Y'all look like y'all got some new type of hydroponics too. What the fuck type of weed y'all smoking? Damn. Shit. Fuck y'all type of... What? type of ganja smoke is y'all smoking lord i feel like y'all just been sitting back on earth and like y'all been sitting back you like man i went through these challenges and stuff i'm in this whole new phase of my life investigating investigating trying to trust the way your life is transitioning you just smoking chilling relaxing letting your bunions breathe trying to figure out how you about to get to the money you know Trying to understand how to use these new powers, these powers, and all look the high pre girl. You know what, girlfriend? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> you ain't playing. You heard what I saying? Divine feminine. You ain't playing. You heard what I saying? Y'all is sitting back with a bottle of wine, okay? He and you were blind. You like look. <laughs> I got money on my mind. Money on my mind. Money, money on my mind. Okay, fuck bitches, get money. <laughs> okay, Lil Wayne. Okay, laugh. Okay, what is this? What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. Listen, mm -mm -mm. listen, ladies. It's about right now, it's about not looking at these stages right now as a challenge. It's about, and, and, and I feel like some of you guys are almost, like you know that you have this new set of skills, this new set of powers, this new set of abilities, but I feel like you're scared to use them because it's just like, 
you 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 investigate and you you want to find a little bit more out about who this who this person is it's just like um how can i say how can i give you an example it's like where is though in your past life you used to be scared of heights right so it's like okay that used to be a challenge for me in the past. I've conquered it now. I'm this brand new bitch now. I'm this brand new person. So I'm not scared of this challenge anymore. But I'm scared to see how far I can push it in this new skin that I'm in. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I know I have the ability because I'm not scared no more to climb the, the the highest mountain or whatever because I really don't feel like I'm scared but I feel like before you climb the mountain you gonna go on Google search and you gonna see other reviews of people and what they went through before they climbed that mountain and other people have been through this experience and this journey with you and what their journey was like like you might be going online like investigating people going through their soul journeys and their these spiritual transformations and things like that and yeah, you're removing the mask. I, I feel like your friends are helping you remove the mask and not be so codependent on love no more. On, a, on, on Yeah, you're, you're definitely going through a transformation right now. And it's just, you want to, I, I feel like you want to, number one, you're focused on success right now. You're focused on breaking away and being comfortable with me. Finding out who you are, not so much where you want to go. I don't think it's about that. It's just about like right here and now, you know, learning about who I am, what I am, what I can do and how I'm going to make this work for me. Because I'm going to be successful. I'm going to grow old and be successful. And it's like you laugh now because it was like you were so codependent on some bullshit. And it's just like. I don't even feel like you have any type of codependency or anything that reminds you of your past anymore. You're rejoicing in celebration. Like, yeah, you are. Oh, my gracious. What does this say? Material harvest. But it's just like your material harvest hasn't came in. But I don't even feel like you care, Divine Feminine. I'm not saying that you don't care that your uh, material harvest hasn't come in. I feel like you feel. You were like really rejoicing in just the fact that you don't trip no more off of this shit. This is someone that is no, they laugh because they're no longer codependent on any of those old memories that would spark up any type of nostalgia or anything like that. Like it don't like anytime someone brings up something from the past or anything, you feel nothing. It's just nothing there. And I feel like you laugh now because it was like almost, almost like what the fuck was I even tripping on? Like now that I done got past this and you were just like honestly living your best life and just just discovering yourself like that's honestly what i'm getting the ace of wands but it's just um you feel like there's a delay in the new beginnings but i feel like this almost been like a self-imposed delay page of swords because you still searching you still investigating you are still learning your truth you're still learning your truth and it don't have nothing to do with you looking at anything or anybody else, but you learning how to trust yourself in in this new body, in this new place, in this new face that you become. Because can't nobody come to you and try to tell you who you are, what you should look like. You ain't putting no mask on and trying to fake and act like you happy in situations where you're not fucking satisfied no more. Mask off, bitch. Fucking mask off. You know what I'm saying? And your friends helped you in this situation because they're like, bitch, what the fuck are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You should have been did this. You should have been stepped up, bitch. Okay? If you were waiting for a sign, well, hello, bitch, here it is. Beep, beep. Who got the keys to the G, bitch? Vroom. Okay? Come on now. High Priestess. Look, I'm reading Friday and we ain't even in Friday. Okay, see, that's why I normally be having my music on so I can keep my brain focused. But I don't got my music today. Okay, anyway. So we're going to get into this. Sense of energy for tomorrow is challenges. So this says unbearable situation throw you directly into God's arms if you are open. Please take over divine and God the right actions. Please take this burden and show me your will. 
okay so this is someone that is literally coming to the point where it's like what I said to you before father God or whoever you know it is that you pray to listen this is a burden that I have no idea what to do with this please take this from me you know so I can find healing because I don't know what to do with this anymore I feel like this is in better hands with you at least you can accept, assess this of, and help me figure out how to address this but right now I'm giving my burdens to you so you know this is like you know I'm going through <laughs> unbearable crazy ass challenges right now you know what I'm saying I don't know what's going on divine feminine but I just um I don't really think it's nothing really that deep because you are truly I feel like y'all been having a good ass time it's starting it's spring you know <laughs> you, and, and uh, the only challenge is I think you don't know where your life is headed that's it that's it I feel like for the ones that went through divorce and um, now you have to figure out how to adjust with paying all of the bills and stuff for you on your own. Y'all are adjusted. I don't feel like y'all scared of that. Um, new love. I feel like it's something that you think about, but it's not something that you're tripping on. I feel like you guys are learning how to be by yourself. And that's why you're right here because you have to learn. This new energy, like, I don't think before you, you even gave a fuck about energy or what energy was or thinking about when you're around people and how their energy impact you. I think now in the stage that you're in, Divine Feminine, you know instantly if somebody's fucking energy off because it makes you sick. Like, you were that fucking sensitive. Like, you going through what you went through, it opened you up to a new you. And it's just like learning how to trust these vibes that your body is giving you and just learning how to listen and learning your intuition and just everything is just it's almost I want to say like magic to you because you didn't even know that you had these gifts you didn't even know that you had these abilities and these powers that it even lived in you and now you are like I said learning how to trust going through these challenges learning how to deal with different energies and what this shit means and that's why you are investigating like I said look closely ask questions thinking before you act you are thinking before you act right now it's about you making the right investments you having a safe home environment okay I almost want to say predictability in your home environment. You want long financial stability and security and comfortability and fruitful and abundantness and happiness and just elevation for your family until you grow long and old. And that is why it said it's just like with all of this new that I've become. I want to make sure that I'm doing this shit right. So I'm investigating. I am thinking before I look because I want to grow long and old, spoiled, and fly as hell. Okay? <laughs> and right now you laugh. <laughs> and, and, and it's like you, you, it's like, you know, where the fuck is your sense of humor? You laugh now. Because back then the shit wasn't funny. But now you laugh. You you fucking laugh because it's just like. I was codependent on bullshit. Every time I would try to go forward, this bullshit from the past, dangling on this love or the thought of love or the possibility of someone giving me this love, you know, I was so codependent on chasing that and wanting that to the point where now that I fucking laugh. I have a sense of humor about it now. I fucking laugh at this shit. It was funny. It was funny. And you know what? I don't regret it because I learned a lot of lessons. Stop running and chasing motherfuckers that dangle love in front of your face. Ever they gonna give it to you or they not, bitch. Get on. Get, get, get on. And why you too busy running around? Why them fuck niggas out there running around dangling love? The thought of love? The chance of love? 
the possibility of love in front of other bitches' faces and they running around chasing that shit. Bitch, we out here celebrating. <laughs> our personal success. Our growth. <laughs> Please. Rejoice in celebration. Y'all not even worried about that shit. You know? Right now, you're worried about your own self-expression. You're about creating and imagining imagining like this whole new life for you manifesting you know and i want to say you have been holding back yourself forward true forward progression and new beginnings because i think you want to make sure of the movements that you're making because all of this shit is new to you you just want to have a little bit of fun right now i don't really feel like um I feel like you just want to have fun. Like all of this shit is new. And it's like, um, I want new beginnings and success and finance and everything. But in regards to anything passionate, I'm kind of cool on that right now. Because like, I'm just going through the challenges and just trying to learn the new me. You know what I'm saying? And who I am. And I'm not, I'm not even entertaining fucking with nobody else until I know exactly what it is that I want and who I am and where I stand and where I'm going, where I want to be. And if I don't know, who I am and confident in that. I ain't got nothing for none of y'all niggas any motherfucking way. Okay? So trust that. Trust that. It's about us this time, ladies. It's about us. And I don't feel like y'all are really, y'all are really not tripping. It's about a lot of truth. It's about a lot of research. It's about a lot of fact, not fiction. It's about, you know, being wise, being smart. That's what the divine feminine is caring about right now. It's like, I can't move forward if I don't have my mind together. Because if I don't have my mind together and know who the fuck I am, anybody can come and tell me who the fuck I could be. And then I'll be running around chasing like a chicken with my head cut the fuck off again. Nah. <laughs> it's time to express yourself. High priestess. Like, I'd rather be by myself and have fun, bitch mask off. I would never put a mask on and I would never fuck with nobody that even, like, no, I'm not even doing that right now. I'm not doing none of that shit right now. The pages, the princess, the swords, and the pages store. You start at the beginning looking for truth and clarity and you end with that. Because you're learning how to trust. When love is invited to take over, right actions arise at the right time. Allow me, dear divine, to wait patiently until the time is right. Let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. That's what it is. And that's what divine feminists having to do right now is just trust and just be comfortable in the unknown. Just, just enjoy yourself. Just listen. Just celebrate and enjoy yourself. You don't have to rush nothing new because I feel like right now it's like I just got out here on my own. I ain't ready to just rush into something new again. Like, no, I'm not ready to just, especially in love. If this was the Ace of Pentacles, I'm fucking with it. You see what I'm saying? But I'm not, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not open to giving nothing passionate to nobody right now. It, it's about me celebrating me and my accomplishments and shit like that. I'm not, no. I feel like you guys are, like I, uh, taking, doing a lot of hobbies, a lot of things that you never had the time or the money to do before. I feel like now, like money is falling from the sky for y'all. Y'all have money to take these dance classes, I mean, to take these dance classes or to travel or just whatever, especially y'all done got y'all tax money. Y'all, it's like, I don't have nobody to focus on but me. What do I want? What does my future look like? You know? And like I said, you have this new power now. You have no issue with cutting the motherfucker. You see how she got her blade out? Nigga, what? She TTG. Train on ready. Twist the nigga up like spaghetti. What? Very beautiful, Carl. You are very beautiful. And you are very young. And you and listen, I'm not saying that you guys are young minded or anything like that. You are very young in this stage of this new person that you've become. And you're still trying to find out who you are. This is choose who you want to become uncertainty. You know? 
It's like, let me rest and trust that God know what he's doing. Because God going to bring what, what, is, what is for me is for me. Let me stop trying to put, you see these wheels? It look like a time clock. Stop trying to put a time limit on everything. Everything happens in a divine fucking timing. Everything does. And this is you coming to the point of knowing that. Knowing that. And I feel like that is why y'all not tripping on jumping into no new beginnings. Not, not no relationship. Like I said, money, yeah. Business, investments, career, travel, happiness, yeah. Because that's helping me figure out who the hell I am and where I want to be. Me pouring myself into love in a new relationship. Nah, that's why I'm withdrawn. Right now, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm loving who I'm seeing because I'm changing. That young lady... When she first looked in that mirror, her reflection was exactly what she was at the time. Now when she looks in that mirror, she sees growth. High priestess, she don't care about being by herself. Do you see what I'm saying? She don't care about being by herself. She thrives when she's by herself. She's in her best by herself. So when she do commit herself to somebody, tch, what? She is learning all of the powers of the world right now. What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you're waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. Whatever it is that you wanted to do, I really do feel like a lot of you guys want to do a hobby or y'all want to go somewhere. Like y'all want to do something. It's something that you want. And it's like you looking at yourself in the mirror and it's just like, well, what the fuck are you waiting for? And God has said, if, he, if you're looking for a sign, here it is. Ladies, in the comments right now, what is it? What have you been looking in the mirror telling yourself that you want to do? This is the sign. What is it? Because you by yourself now. You ain't got nobody to focus on but you. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. What are you looking in the mirror telling yourself? Your friends are helping you. I feel like your friends, I already showed y'all, y'all having it the fuck up. Y'all bitches is having it up. Y'all going to concerts. Y'all bitches is doing bus trips. Y'all doing casino nights. Y'all doing a lot of shopping right now. Y'all bitches is having it the fuck up. Y'all are having it the fuck up. Like, why? Commit myself to who? Move and, and, and start something new with who? I'm having too much fucking fun right now. I'm too, I'm extra good. My friends is helping me enjoy this new life that I got. Like, what? And I'm trying to tell y'all, if y'all been thinking about taking a road trip or doing something, what the fuck are y'all waiting for? Do it. You ain't got nobody to come back home to to worry about. Shit, bitch, mask off. Fucking mask off. What y'all trying to go to that Drake and Future concert that y'all just heard they about to do? Or they about to do something? What was a new album or something? What y'all trying to what? Take the mask off, bitch. Take the mask off and do what you want to do. Okay, only thing that you is is only thing that is bothering you right now, Divine Feminine, is I feel like you guys have been trying to reach for a new job. Y'all been trying to reach for um, a new step in your career or trying to start a business or whatever. And I just feel like you're not really trusting in it. I don't feel like you 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 in your heart. You know, and I feel like there's a lot of, that's why there's a lot of research because then it go, here again, it's that page of wants, that research. And it's like, I want this situation that I've been hoping and praying for. Like you've been looking in the mirror. It's like, you, you guys are about to take a big fucking step. You're about to take a big step in something in regards to your material world where it's going to be like you taking your mask off to the world and that's why y'all have been investigating so much and it's at a very young stage at this page stage that is like a child stage because you're just learning this you see what i'm saying y'all are not at a professional professional you know what i'm saying where you can like ask for the top dollar in this field yet because you're still learning do you understand and i feel like you want to trust that you can take this mask off and go into this new field because i feel like 
whatever this is that has to do with this material harvest being in the beginning, I feel like you guys are trying to bring in something. Y'all are trying to bring in change. You know what I'm saying? This is like infinity, like forever. Do you see what I'm saying? So, um, like a completion, you know, it, it, it's something that you want to take the mask off and show the world that you can do. And I feel like you, you you will get like a serious financial harvest in it. But before you just jump out there, you are really investigating and you want to know how this worked for everybody else. What was their journey? What was their experience like when they took their mask off to the world and told everybody about what is what it is that they did? Did their friends still um stick by their side? Did their friends still help them? You know what I'm saying? Um to, you know, then the person gonna be like, listen, what the fuck are you waiting for? Go do, you know, do it. And then you're gonna look yourself in the mirror and be like, you know what? Let me hit this Jave real quick. I'm about to get myself together. But I know exactly who I am. And I'm gonna fight for it. I know my truth. I know who I am. I know who I choose to be. I know exactly what I desire. And I'm going for it. I'm going all the way for it. All the way for it. So again, let's recap, you guys. Challenge, trust. Mask off. Fucking mask off. Mask off, bitch. Fucking mask off. Alright. So. So, so, so. A soap, so, so. Nickelodeon. Anyway. So like I said, you guys are going through some challenges right now where you guys are just learning how to trust the process. And I really want to say just trust you. Whatever this is that you're thinking that you want to do, jump your ass out there and do it. If you don't want to, you don't see nothing that is appetizing to you right now. Don't look at it like a challenge. Just trust that it ain't time for you to date nobody right now. That's not a fucking challenge. You know what I'm saying? Just Look at things in a different way. God put you exactly where you need to be, how you need to be there at the correct time that you need to be there. So just trust and don't look at these as challenges. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, they are some kind of, un like I said, some unbearable and unbelievable situations that be thrown at you sometimes. But just the way you be navigating through the waters is not even a challenge for real because Anybody on the outside looking in at the way you just beast your way through that shit. It's just like, shit, I wish I could be like you. I'm going to grow up and be up and be like you one day. And that's what you're going to tell them. I am growing up. That's the whole thing. I'm growing up. You know, I might not know exactly what I'm doing at times. You know what I'm saying? I just know in my mind and my heart that I'm moving forward and I'm doing the best thing for me. And I'm living in my truth. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I don't know what I'm doing all the motherfucking time. You know, and I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm better than anybody else. I just know the powers that is within me is growing and I'm learning how to be this new person that I've become. Okay? That's why, you know, you investigating. Because right now you a little bit uncertain and you trying to figure out who this new person is that I'm growing to be. You know? And that's why you just marinating right now. Like I said, you sitting back, smoking a J, letting your bunions breathe, having a glass of wine, you know, trying to figure out, you know, look, this girl in the mirror, I love the shit out of this bitch. I don't know who the fuck that was that I was looking at before or that was staring back at me a couple of years ago or last year or shit, even a couple of months ago. I see the change. I see the growth. I love the person that I see in that mirror. And this bitch, oh, she's going to do the right thing this time. Because she's putting her, she's putting, she's not operating off of just love. She's operation, operational love and, and knowledge. Operational love and knowledge. I'm not doing anything without putting my heart and my mind and my spirit and my intuition and my foot into it. That's how I'm going to grow old and comfortable out in this motherfucker. You understand know what I'm saying? But you can't do it if you don't love the motherfucker that's staring back in that mirror back at you. And I love this bitch. And I'm willing to be by myself for right now. And to the right situation come around me. Where I can really 
have a comfortable and a happy and a successful family unit. It's okay? Right now you laugh. You laugh at the shit that you were going through back in the day. And right now it's saying, what the fuck are you waiting for? Get that shit done. It's something that you're trying to achieve now. And you laugh because you held yourself back from doing it back in the day when you were going through this twin flame bullshit. I want to say twin flame karmic bullshit because I promise you that person that you was with was a karmic. They were just a soul, a karmic soulmate to teach you how to stand alone. A queen stands alone. Where's your fucking sense of humor? If you're waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. Whatever it is that you want to do, do it. You know? These challenges and shit that you're going through, God is saying, laugh. Where's your fucking sense of humor? Whatever it is that you need to do, just get up and do it. You ain't got nobody leeching on you no more. You ain't got nobody being codependent on you no more. You ain't got nobody pulling you down, making you unhappy no more. Your friends are helping you be, like, literally living the best happy life that you could possibly live y'all have been doing the damn thing you know you no longer you no longer are intrigued by any thoughts of nostalgia anybody dangling false love or the thought of love in, over your head you done took the mask off you you can see through motherfuckers that that do that shit now you can see right through the motherfuckers you're not even entertained you too busy enjoying and having a good time until your fruits of your labor come in. Because everything that you put out into the universe, you know you're getting back. All right? You yourself are stopping and halting new beginnings. Especially in regards to relationships to come to you. Because you just searching and looking for your own inner truth. You're growing. You know? And... You just don't want nobody to be no distractions in the fucking way. You just don't want nobody to be a distraction. Other than your friends and your family and the people that you know that love you and support you every day, you don't want no distractions around. So this one be titled, No Fucking Distractions. You get me? So ladies, if this video resonated with y'all, y'all go ahead and hit that like button. Laugh. Where's your sense of humor? These challenges that you're going through, when you look back at this shit, you're going to fucking laugh when you're sitting back with old money. <laughs> Not worried about a fuck nigga, okay? I love y'all. If this video resonated and y'all want to book a personal private reading, go ahead and hit that about tab. My hyperlink for my booking is in the... Um, is at the bottom, Scorpion Res, at Simply Book Me. Um, listen... When you guys book, as soon as you book, make sure that you use that Instagram link that's right um, below that and send me a message on Instagram. Say, hey, it's me. I just booked with you for this, this, and that today. I only do video readings, okay? So I will only do video readings on Instagram or on, um, what is it, WhatsApp? If you're international, if you're international, I must receive payment first, okay? Um, well, with all of them, I must receive payment first, but... Sometimes y'all be having issues. So if you guys like have to send me money, Western Union or something, I have to receive payment first before um, we go further. But um, what was I saying? I don't know. Anyway, I love y'all. Love and like. Hit the like button. I'll see you guys later. Peace.